March marks the start of an exciting new season for astronomers and astrophotographers, galaxy season. In this video, I'll explain what galaxy season is and what amazing deep sky targets you can observe and capture with your backyard telescope. If you don't have a telescope, don't worry. I have a separate video about awesome astronomy events that can be seen with the naked eye in March 2023. You can find a link to that video in the video description below. Galaxy season is that magical time of year for astronomers and astrophotographers. From March till May, the Milky Way lies low in the northern sky at midnight, giving us a clear view of galaxies and galaxy clusters far beyond our own Milky Way. Galaxies are vast cosmic islands of stars, gas, dust and dark matter held together by gravity. Galaxies come in a wide variety of shapes, sizes and structures and are classified into three main groups, elliptical, spiral and irregular. Elliptical galaxies range from nearly circular to highly elongated and are the largest, most rare type. Giant ellipticals can be up to 300,000 light years in size, while dwarf ellipticals are only a few thousand light years wide. Spiral galaxies appear as flat, blue-white disks with yellowish bulges in the center. They may also have a bar of stars running through the bulge, with the arms of the galaxy starting at the end of the bar. Spirals are actively forming stars and are the most abundant type of galaxy in the local universe. Irregular galaxies have little dust and are neither disk-like nor elliptical. We can often see these irregular galaxies when looking far into the universe, which is like looking back in time. Irregular galaxies were abundant in the early universe before spirals and ellipticals had developed. Galaxies that are bound together by gravity are called galaxy clusters. They may contain anywhere from a few to thousands of galaxies and are some of the largest structures in the universe. There are many galaxies and galaxy clusters to gaze at and photograph in the constellations that are high in the sky in March. Ursa Major is the most prominent constellation that crosses the meridian at midnight. Other constellations include Sextant, Leo, Hydra, Crater, and Corvus. Within each of these constellations you'll have excellent opportunities to observe and photograph galaxies and galaxy clusters that are tens to hundreds of millions of light years away. In some cases we can observe galaxy clusters that are over a billion light years away with a backyard telescope. Isn't that amazing? Using a telescope with a focal length of around 1000 mm or more, distant galaxies and galaxy clusters can be magnified to a remarkable degree, allowing for an awe-inspiring view of these distant celestial bodies. Are you ready to explore the night sky in March with me? I'll provide you with a list of some amazing galaxies and galaxy clusters that cross the meridian at midnight in chronological order. I'll provide their common and scientific names, the constellations where they can be found, and the apparent sizes in art minutes. To give you a reference, the full moon is about half a degree in apparent size, which equals 30 art minutes. You can use free apps like Stellarium and use the scientific names to find the location of each of the objects I'm going to discuss in the night sky. I've included the link to Stellarium in the video description below. The pictures I'm about to show you are mainly from Stellarium and the Aladdin Sky Atlas, which is based on the Simbad database. I bet you can even get better pictures with your own backyard telescope and camera. I'd love to hear about your experiences or see your pictures, so feel free to send them to me at astroforumlive at gmail.com or DM me on Instagram at Widow's Astroforum. If you like this video, I'd really appreciate it if you would like, share and subscribe to the channel. Let's get started!
Thank you so much for watching.